Hey guys, it's David and this video is brought to you by Hedaro.com. Today we're going to learn about how to use a matplotlib with pandas and how to create subplots. In other words, how to create multiple charts in one code cell. So let's get started. Let's start by importing pandas. Alright, now that we have pandas imported, this is the version I'm currently using. All right, let's start by creating a very simple data frame that we could use to plot some data. So let's call it a column. Let's just call it key and then just, just throw some numbers here. 65, all right. Then, all right. So now that we have our data frame, um, how do you plot it? So before we could actually plot, we have to import this magic function called matplotlib inline. And this is going to allow us to actually uh, generate plots and pictures so that it is to display in our notebook. So when we go df.plot, just then we'll see it. And as you can see, we just did a basic line chart and um that was simple enough now let me make this data frame a little bit more uh complex uh, let's add a another column so now that we have a data frame with two columns um one is key and one is new so when we plot this how does it look well, we'll have both lines here and the legend will show key and new. Now, what if you wanted to use, no, what if you wanted to plot these in two separate charts? So you wanted, for example, a chart on the column key on the left and the chart on the column mu on the right. Now, this is where we get to subplots using matplotlib. So let me show you how you set that up. You first have to import um, PyLab. So let's go import matplotlib.pylab as plt. So we first import uh, PyLab, and then once we have that, we have access to the following. We'll go fig access equals plt. Dead. And then there's this thing called subplots. And when you open subplots up, you're going to see a bunch of parameters, but the ones we're going to use are n rows and n columns. So let's take those here. And after I get this to run, I'll explain everything. Um, fig size. I'm just trying to get through all the coding. 15, 5. All right. So I think that works. So I'm running this and showing you what it comes out with now. When I run this line, all I get is an empty chart. And the chart dimensions are 15 with an end height of 5. Now, this subplots from PyLab and MatplotLib is going to allow us to place multiple plots in one code cell. Or in other words, when I run my code cell, it's going to display multiple plots here. Right now, I only have one row and one column, so I only see one chart. But if we do two rows in one column, then you'll get two different plots There's that are stacked in top of each other. If you do the opposite, one row, two columns, then you get them side by side. Now, how do we get this chart that we put here, how do we get it down there? Well, this is how we do it. We'll go df.plot, just like we did before, but inside plot, there is a parameter called ax, which is the axis, and we're gonna make it equal to axis zero, and I'll show you what that zero part here means. So if you run this, you're gonna notice that we got the chart on the left box and 
this, if we change it from 0 to 1, you're going to notice it's going to go to the right box. So this axis here, it's going to give you um, the ability to move your um, your data framing and your charts on, on these boxes, these subplots that we're creating. All right, so let's get the key column plot on the left and then the new column plot on the right. How do we do that? Well, we're going to have to select the key column here and we'll make this zero. That's on the left. And we'll copy this over here and we'll change this to one and the column will change into new. So once you run this, you'll see that we were able to achieve the new, I mean the key column to go on the left and the key on the right. We did it by the subplots. Now another cool thing that subplots allow you to do um, is you could do things like this. Let me show you. Axis zero dot set title. Uh, let me put semicolon here. All right. So what did I do? I'm able to give this chart, the one on the left, axis zero. I'm able to give it a title. And as you can see from the chart, I gave it you know random letters, but you can give it a title. Um, you could also do more than that let's say I wanted to set um, the x-axis we call it x label now let's call it like this so when you run this you're gonna see that all the way at the bottom here we labeled the x-axis now what if you didn't like the font size well we have the ability to change the font size font size equals 25 for example and bam so we could change the font size of the x um, axis label there's also a set y label that you could you know add add you know label your y axis and um, this makes it easy to um, to basically kind of annotate your charts now there's another one that's useful that I want to bring up and it's called um, legend and inside the legend you could um, uh, it, it takes in a list so you could also add a legend to your charts which is pretty pretty cool now let me show you something else let's stack these right now they're side by side but if we go to one we're gonna stack them and you're going to see an issue we're going to come up with. And the issue is that the x-axis label that we set over here, it's getting cut off in our chart. So we need to find a way to kind of create some space in between these two um, subplots. So the way you do it is you use the fig a variable that we created here. And there is... Um, there is this parameter called set uh, no subplots adjust and when you go inside subplots adjust there's this parameter called h space horizontal space and this is gonna allow us to create some horizontal some space between these two charts and you're gonna have to figure out the right number I picked 0 0.8 up here but you're gonna have to play with this number to get it just right but as you can see the four X's that were being chopped off are not there and that makes your um, I don't know your dashboard or your subplots a little nicer now another thing I forgot to mention is you could also add color to your um, you could change the color to some of these labels and I don't know that could give you I don't know maybe you're into colors and that could give you like a little make your little charts even a little nicer so anyways just wanted to share um, how you could create subplots with um, your data frames 
and how you could add some titles and update the X or Y labels, add some legends, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.